little tool that I already lost. I'm off to a poor start here. Hey guys, today we are taking a look at this Royal Baby Balance Bike. I did buy the model that has uh, like the pedal conversion kit already attached to it. I have never honestly heard of this brand before buying this and so we will see how it turns out. It had really great reviews. The little kind of video advertisement that they had on Amazon looked promising. It's hard to always believe what they say on there. Uh, our little toddler girl is just in love with her older sister's bikes which are way too big. We had been wanting to get her, you know, like a Strider bike sort of thing. Probably not actually Strider because we're cheap. We liked the idea of one of the ones that had the pedal conversion kit that you could add later. So she still just goes from the balance bike to pedaling within the same little bike that she's already used to. As well as, you know, cost savings there. This wasn't super cheap. It was, I think, like $120, but it was on sale. The full price ones were like $180 with some of the other colors and things. This is a 12 inch one. I think they had 14 inches and 16 inches. I opened up the top just to, you know, see if stuff's in there. Let's go ahead and take everything out and see how it looks. It is super cute. <laughs> this color and this size was one of the cheapest ones. We definitely wanted a 12 inch one anyway. They did have a size chart on the listing which goes by your inseam length. We measured hers and she was actually smaller than everything on the chart so we just got the smallest one and hope for the best. Looks like the handlebars are already attached to this front brake. They did again have some other kinds of models. Some of them had a front brake and a back brake. This one it just has the front brake but I think it also has a pedal brake. These little tires are already inflated. They are rubber. The other one that I had originally been looking at from a different brand which I was going to buy. I was on the verge of it. It was a little cheaper and had the pedal kit and everything that you could later get but then one of the reviews was saying that the tires were actually plastic which I'm sure works for a lot of people, but there is a gravel road right next to our house that um, our kids regularly kind of walk down and play on and stuff. So I wanted something that seemed like it would be a little more durable. Again, these rubber tires seem pretty decent. All the spokes and everything seem like they're all straight, good condition. It does have the little tubes for inflating. It has sizes on the tires, so I guess you can get replacement tires. The frame is actually pretty heavy. It's heavier than I expected. I don't think that's a bad thing. It's honestly probably better than if we had gotten something that's super duper light, because then when she switch to a regular bike, it would be a more difficult transition. Everything seems like it was packaged really nicely, so I like that. Uh, this little, I think it's just a cover, but it looks almost like something attaches to it. I'm sure there's some documentation here that I should probably read. So far, again, everything is metal, seems really nice and sturdy, seems like just a good quality regular bicycle, not, you know, like a cheap plasticky baby bike. We had originally been shopping for something that would ultimately be handed down to our son once our daughter outgrows this, but I think by the time he's ready for a bike, he's going to be bigger than her anyway. So that helped form the decision on getting this one for her that has the pedal conversion and everything because she's probably going to be on it longer than he would have been anyway. So in the box, you have your little pedals. They're well lubricated. It feels like really solid, good construction. The pedals are really grippy. I like that. It does have the little reflectors, just like a regular little bike. It comes with, I think this might be a bell, so that's really fun. It has a little battery in it, so that's sort of interesting. This was on the listing. I guess it goes under the seat, makes it look like a little rocket ship. Got some extra little reflectors to put on. Instruction. Oh, and it comes with some tools for you to put everything together. Really short and sweet, not a million pages to it. I love that. This is the simplest instructions that I've seen on anything recently. Again, she's tiny, so we'll put it as short as possible. Easy little clamp here, just like any other little bicycle. Apparently, it is calling this a water bottle. Not sure on that one, but it just dips down underneath the seat. It has 
as the installation for your pedals, which they actually pop on here as this little red button that this little footrests sit on when they're using it as the balance. And then you just push it up. Your pedal can only go on one way. There's a little groove on there. And it goes on and it just locks into place the exact same way with the little button. And there you go. You have your little pedals on here. gonna leave those off for now, of course, since she's never been on a bike before. It has just little covers from shipping on the back here. You do have these other reflectors. The last thing I will point out, it does have this little kickstand on the back tire there. It is very short. Might have some issues if you're parking it on some uneven ground. Otherwise, I would say this is a super cute little bike. We'll go ahead and see how she does on it. Also see how it does outside and how it holds up. Look, it's for you. Come so try it. I'll help you. Come here. There you go. Good job. It's a little big. <laughs> now you just need to grow to like four inches. Best part of the bike. <laughs>